taken to off. I just think it's wasted time and wasted potential. And like something that took me some years, you know, to get behind. So you know you have like different types of like roads and you are like in a car, that's you, and you want to drive in that direction. And, and now you're on a motorway and you want to accelerate. You get quicker and quicker and quicker, but the acceleration process takes up a lot of energy of you, yeah? So we just write down E. It doesn't have to do anything with actual physics right now. It's more like for mindset, yeah? Okay, so you, we take up a lot of energy of ours just to accelerate, to get started, to change our velocity from, okay, maybe now it gets to physics, from V1 equals zero to uh, V1 equals higher than zero. <laughs> Here we go. Um, so that's what we need to do, and that takes a lot of energy, yeah? I don't know, like we drive, 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 and accelerate until we have reached that certain velocity V3, which we are relatively com uh, comfortable with. We just, for example, call that one, yeah? And we drive, drive, drive until we've reached V3, for example, here. And there we, once again, are relatively comfortable. We are, it's a linear movement, everything is fine. Until we reach a breaking point, where, for example, there's another car. Let's now use a different color. There's another car in front of us. So you have another car right here. So you now suddenly need to abruptly, so otherwise you would drive into that car, go from V to um, V3 to V4. Here we go. And V4 is close to zero, okay? We're not at zero, but we're close to zero. Now, of course, from V4 to V5, which again is like roughly at a constant level, you would need to accelerate again. Yeah? Okay. Now, what does that bring us? And why am I talking about like some form of like movements and cars and whatsoever? Because for me, that's exactly what I'm doing while I'm studying. Like at the in the morning and while I'm grinding, while I'm working, while I'm doing something, I'm accelerating until I've reached a certain comfortable level and get like over average session ratings in, I can just constantly go with that movement. Of course, there's like differences throughout the day and sometimes I feel better, sometimes I feel worse and it's not a linear movement the entire time, that's true, yeah. But overall, when I'm in the studying process for, for example, my exams, when I'm working on my book and so on, I keep on going and I don't stop. When I stop, plus momentum, I would need to get started again. So every time I take a break, I need to put in more energy to get, get started. So in other words, if I don't take breaks, at least not long breaks, then I don't have difficulties with starting again. Like, it's just, it's a, it's a constant movement. It's a constant movement in the, in the right direction of, once again, there are ups and downs the entire time throughout the journey. But overall, it is a quite linear kind of movement and that I'm 100% comfortable with and that I can, like, excel in, that I maybe even can push myself out of the comfort zone now. But I'm never, like, stopping abruptly and say, hey, oh, now I've worked for my exams, the exam day ca came, I finished my exams, studying is over. I think that's a wrong approach towards it. I personally think so, um, because I'm not studying for my exam, I'm studying for the knowledge of my exam, and I don't want to then build up the motivation, the, the whole process that it took me to get to finishing the first exam in the first place. That's why I don't take breaks. That's why people are struggling with, for example, when it comes to work, and why they're always tired, often tired, um, after weekends. Because they've worked for five days and they're just looking forward to the final destination Friday and then they take two days off and in those two days they abruptly stop with and do nothing regarding work and because of that they now have difficulties on a Monday to get back to the grind if we instead all of us say hey how about I go ahead and work Monday Tuesday um, Monday Tuesday Wednesday for example is a light day Friday uh, Thursday Friday all right, Saturday maybe a little bit as well. Maybe Sunday take, I just do two hours or something. Like you're constantly doing something. You you have like larger gaps and breaks in between, yes. But you're constantly doing something. Then you don't get into a slump on Monday and feel drained just from showing up. And I think that's such an important lesson. That's why I don't work for anyone but myself and for myself. Otherwise, I would just be yeah completely drained the entire time. <laughs>